Welcome to Growl, your source for Chicago Bears and NFL news. And now your host and Bears expert, Gage. Welcome to Growl. I'm Gage, your host for Bears and NFL news. What? Bro, bro, bro. No, no, no. This is my show. Thank you very much. Welcome to Growl. I'm Gage, your host for Bears and NFL news. And welcome back to Growl Free Agency Bears Edition number two. Comment about that comment. Okay, starting off with the comment that Jav5140 posted. I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for commenting. Dissecting it, if ESPN had you, I might even watch them. Thank you. It's very flattering to my heart that you would say that. I really appreciate it. Um, because that's totally not what I want to do when I grow up. Sarcasm. Next, at least let the starters play in preseason. I have to agree with that statement because Nagy didn't let the starters play in preseason, and it really didn't let them have the chance to shake off that russet. It's just kind of clean to them. They just need to get off. Next, Mike McCarthy to the Bears. And then tearing up the Packers. I like that part, tearing up the Packers. That sounds really good to me. Mike McCarthy to the Bears, though? I don't know. Next comment, bring Troop back. Sneak peek, you're going to get it. I know my uncle also posted that he wanted Troop back. And uh, thanks for the comments. Okay, heading into Bears free agency. My next section is players that the Bears have signed in free agency. Starting off, my favorite of the signs and trades, um, Robert Quinn, the pass rusher. He is super speedy and is like a perfect match for our defense with Akeem Hicks and Khalil Mack. They're going to be unstoppable this year. Barkovius Mingo, he's a linebacker that's kind of supposed to fill in the spot that um, Nick Kwiatkowski left. Nick Foles, I like it. But not so fast. I'm going to bring in Truett. Truett, what do you feel about this trade? I think it's going to be a really good trade because Nick Foles has more experience and he's been to many more teams than Trubisky has. And he's a Super Bowl quarterback for the Eagles. And now I think he's going to be the starting quarterback for the Bears because he's um, a lot more... Like powerful and uh, experience, yeah, and more experience than been in those situations. Yes. Alrighty. Well, thank you for your input on that. Again, I like the Nick Foles trade, and I'm wondering about how this quote-unquote open competition is going to go. Because one, Trubisky has never won a QB competition before in college or in the NFL. But I think Tr- or Trubisky will start um, due to his experience with the Bears offense, because that's the only offense he's ever known other than the North Carolina um, offense. But I think Trubisky's, again, going to start because, just like True said, Nick Foles has been to a lot of different teams. And yes, he did play um, with that offense with Nagy a long time ago. But again, that was a long time ago. Jimmy Graham. Just like my friend Caleb said, it's not a bad move, but it's not, it's definitely not the best move. It's just kind of like a meh move because they're paying him so much money and he's a 33 year old. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's a, that's pretty old. That's, I mean, he says he still has some left in him, but I don't know. Jermaine Fetty, boy, do I say, I hope you, I said his name right. Anyways, he's an offensive lineman. That is pretty good. I checked him out. He's just another puzzle piece, so they don't have to waste all their picks on an offensive line. My next section, players the Bears have cut. My first point, Taylor Gabriel. I'm upset about this cut, but I mean, if it's used to free up cap space, whatever. But I'm still going back to the fact that people were raving over his two, um, his toe tap in the end zone against the Redskins, and arguably saying that it's the best play that the Bears have had the entire season. Trey Burton, an upset because he had a breakout season in 2018. Leonard Floyd, I mean, just a player that needed to go. Prince of Mukamara, he was a Good fit for our Bears defense, but was a victim of the um, calorie or the cap space. Alrighty, 
Now the draft, this is gonna be an interesting draft because I mean, it's never been online. I'm just kind of thankful that um, it's that we have the technology to do this. Um, positions that the Bears need to improve. Offensive line, one way or another, our QB needs his job easier. Cornerback, pop quiz, name one Bears cornerback. Right, you probably said Kyle Fuller, but name anyone else. See, you probably couldn't name anyone else. Our next position, safety. Could you name a Bear safety? Right, you probably said Eddie Jackson. Anyone else? Chances are you couldn't name anyone else. Alrighty, next is players the Bears should sign in the draft, or just draft. Matt Hennessy, center. I think he should be a center. We just need a center. I mean, he's just, yeah, good for our O-line. Trevon Diggs, he's a very good cornerback who's guarded against um, Stefan Diggs, his brother. Um, unfortunately, some people are saying he could go in the first round. Lloyd Cushenberry, again, offensive line. Damon Arnett, cornerback. He'd be another just cornerback to spiffy up our defense. Khalid Cousin, yay, a Michigan guy. He's just another safety, so is Josh Uche. And he's just kind of a safety guy that would be good for our defense. That wraps up today's video. This is breaking news. So I was just about to post my new Bears Edition video, which you guys are seeing right now, but Rob Gronkowski has come out of retirement and has actually gotten traded to the Bucks with a seventh round pick for a fourth round prick. Again, this is no joke, but this is crazy. Breaking news here with Gage. And please subscribe, just scroll down and click that red button. It's so easy. Once again, bye and see you next time on Growl.